Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently embroiled in a couple of wars and we've also got a lot of stuff going on over this way in terms of rebels. So we're going to have to get some get some things going here and actually I don't remember what's going on with these wars. So let's take a quick look here. This is only Abenaki. Right. So that war is actually already handled. Mostly. Okay, so this second war here is these guys right here, along with these guys. Okay, what do we have going on with these armies right now? Nothing. So we're going to head up over here and over here. Um, I don't feel like we need to use our fleet for that. Maybe? No, we should be able to pathfind up through here. Why would we need to use our fleet for that? Oh, I see. Okay. I guess that's fine. It's going to be a little awkward to get to, but they also can't get to us unless that ends up changing. So as far as the rebels go, there's a lot of them. Now we're currently using our fleet to come out over here. And that does mean that we should get these guys at least moving to, well, up over here. So we'll go ahead and do that for now. And then over this direction, I want to spread these guys out a little bit. That's under control, under control. Anything else going on over here right now? Yes, we can cap back territory here. And these guys are on their way over to here. Beautiful. We're raising up additional troops over here. These guys are fighting each other. Very nice. We're capping over this way. And that all looks reasonably fine. Okay, well, let's let this proceed. So this month we add two rebels. One unit out over here. And we'll send these guys up here and then we'll head over there. We also have Potabotomy separatists over here that I'm not too concerned about for the moment. We'll get those taken care of soon enough. Okay, Ming Mongolia are doing things, sure. And our colony in Carmen is now self-sustaining. Okay, so we actually currently have two available colonists. I want to come over here and colonize here. And I want to colonize here. I'd love to make this be a colonial nation. I don't know if we'll manage to pull that off or not. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. But we'll see. Okay, so this will all finish up soon enough. And there's this territory out over here we are working on. I'm going to bring these two up over this direction. I would also like to bring this unit in. We need to eliminate these rebels. Very, very high priority on that one. Okay. Two revolts, three revolts this month. Not too bad. So we're capping this back right now. We'll come back to that in a moment. Phoenician rebels over this way. That's not too difficult to defeat. We're going to bring these guys in over here and get that dealt with. And then we're going to move this force up over here-ish. And we'll come back over here, I think, a little bit later on. So that's fine. Armenian particularists over here that have, I think, taken control of the location. Not new Armenian particularists. That's fine. We do want to continue to core as soon as we can, which is in the category of not yet. Okay, this is rolling very awkwardly here. Incredibly awkwardly. We have some Ugrin separatists up over this way, and we'll head over there. So I want these guys to come in over here. I mean, we're going to win this, but we're going to take, like, huge amounts of damage. So that's a thing. We're going to come up over here and over here as well with these forces. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. We're going to take this back and head over to here. Rebels are successful. But we knew that. That's not a big problem. Yeah, look at these numbers here. 
We just have to retreat. Our morale is super high, but we're doing, like, no damage to them. Actually, their current morale is 0 0.03. We win that. But now we have to leave. We have way too few troops here. So that'll be fine. And we can just core down here. Now, I will cancel these if we get the opportunity to give them to a colonial nation out over here. But I don't think that's going to happen. At least not in time. So we'll hold off on that for the moment. Okay. I'm just checking in on this situation over here. We'll bring these guys up. And these guys can come in here and crush these particularists. Fantastic. And then we're going to come over to Corsica here. No problem. Greek Separatists down over here. Honestly, that shouldn't be an issue either. Cool. So, no problem here. We easily win that. And then we come up over this direction. And these guys don't actually need to be here. So we're going to spread this force out a little bit so that they can regenerate a little. Cool. There we go. And we'll send this force. Actually, we don't... Uh, yeah, we should. We should send this force out here. What are you? You're a flute. Why do you exist? I must have accidentally queued you up at some point. Let's get rid of you. Okay, we're going to move these guys over to like here and here. Perfection. Okay. This appears to be very solidly under control at this point. I'm going to move these guys into here. These guys into here. These guys will actually just stay put. And then we'll move up here. And we'll bring these guys back a little bit because these should be reasonably under control. Cool. Three revolts this month shouldn't be a big deal. Indeed, it is not. We'll head over to here. And no problem here. And this is maybe a little bit more of a problem, but we'll just do something kind of like that. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. I'm a little surprised this siege hasn't finished yet, but... Here we are. Okay. So we're heading up to here. Our ally is actually fighting these guys. And they retreated. Makes me sad. I wish they hadn't. Where are you going? You're going to Adana? So you're going up over here. Got it. Three revolts this month. Shouldn't be any big deal. Kadi Separatists down over here. Yep, no problem. Mombasan Separatists over this way. No problem there. And Khorasani Separatists. No problem here either. Beautiful. So we're going to head in over here, eliminate these guys. Armenian Canada has occupied over this way. Always nice. And we now have a way over this way. Cool. We won a siege over... Hang on. There's a lot of pop-ups here. We won a siege over this way. And we will definitely end this war. So, we're going to flip this over to Armenian Canada. We do not want to hold this ourselves. And we will go ahead and annex that. Cool. Yeah, that should do the whole... That, that should do the trick. That's the whole thing. Done. So there's that war done. Now for these other two wars. They're going to be a little more awkward, but that's fine. We can we can get that handled. It's not going to be any real problem. Okay, we won over here. That's beautiful. This we don't care about, really. Not yet, anyway. We will eventually. But we don't care about for the moment. The Volhenian Separatists up over here. No big deal. That is already handled. And we won battles all across the uh, vicinity here. So these guys are coming in to attack this force. Honestly, I feel like they lose that as is, but we're going to send a troop up there to defend that. And these guys, they're going to come in and attack this force. So how many are actually left? 
Not so many is the answer. Okay. I'm going to bring these guys up over here. There we go. Cool. So the number of rebels has dropped incredibly dramatically. We're going to group these guys back together here. There we go. And we will head in up this way. We can also make ourselves another core, and we will get started on that. Cool. And naturally, we are winning most of these battles. I guess we'll finish off this cap. I meant for them to attack here first. But our colony down here finished up, and we are going to colonize over this way next. One, two, three rebellions this month. One down here. Okay. Okay. We will send this force to go deal with that. It's no longer needed for the war. Prussian Separatists, we will head on down over there. Cool. And these guys. Sure. We'll head on down there too. We'll move some troops up over this way to cap back some of this occupied territory. And these guys are moving in here. Looks good. Yeah, this looks absolutely good. Well, except for the numbers here, but it is what it is. We are going to win this just because of morale. Tunisian Separatists out over this way is not really a problem. I'm going to send this force to deal with that, these guys to cap back this area. Cool. And then we're going to be heading up here shortly. Looks good. Yeah, no problem whatsoever there. And we're going to be capping back a lot of locations over this way. So we're going to move these guys into Banu. These guys down here. We're going to move the 22nd up over into Ro. And I don't think we have any major issues here. This is completely manageable. We've spent a lot of manpower. There's no doubt about that. But that's fine. Uh, we've got a pair of revolts here this time. One up over here, which we can swing by and eliminate on our way down here. And one down here as well. That's no problem. Cool. Apparently we stopped traveling this way. Our path got blocked. Awkward. We won the battle Chesapeake, naturally. And we won a battle out over this way too. Okay, so we do see a decent number of troops out over here. I'm going to grab these four armies. We'll deal with these revolts in just a moment. I'm going to grab these four armies, take them up to Merv. And then we've got some rebels in Cameroon. They are now officially dealt with. And we've got these guys. No problem here either. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're really not having any issues here. This is no problem. I would like to catch these guys. Some Fulani Separatists over this way, and we can head over there. Already in position to deal with them. We can continue to core here, of course. There we go. And we'll head down over this way. Cool. These guys can now spread out, and these can as well. There's nothing else really up over here. So these guys can spread out too, and we'll head in over this way and down this way. Actually, you guys can go here. There we go. So they've got three armies over this way. We are moving in four, and we won our siege over this way. Cool. So this war is not truly over, but it's almost over. We're going to fight these guys here and then head over to here. Cap that back. Beautiful. One, two, and three this time. Hejazi, no problem here. We'll move down to there. And a few Separatists over here. That's a little bit annoying that they're in our back line there, but no problem. And we'll deal with these Coptic Zealots too. Fantastic. Okay, so we just have these three here that we need to eliminate. So, 
We're going to move everybody in right here. I'm going to delay these guys a little bit until these are a little closer. And we'll deal with those in just a moment because we're almost in position here. Almost. There. Now we'll bring these in. Beautiful. Some rebels up over this way, and that's no problem. We'll deal with those instantly. And these as well. No problem here. Cool. These rebels aren't an issue at all. These guys can come up here, siege that back. And we can continue to siege back over this way. This is all fine. I'm not seeing any issues here. Uh, let's position you here so that you don't take attrition. Perfect. So obviously we'll have no real problem here. There's that one dead. We're going to come up over this way next. And these guys are capping back territory. Perfect. You're heading in there. Just checking for any rogue territory that needs to be recaptured before we uh, before we relax a little bit. Pretty much all just in this area. So that's fine. Cool. Some rebels out over here. This is not actually a problem. We're going to head up there and eliminate them. I think Armenian Brazil might handle that for us. I don't know why Armenian Brazil is here, but okay. So we're now at 100% war score here. And we're actually going to take this for ourselves here. Like that. Now this will give us some overextension. 15.9% to be precise. But that's okay. We send those demands. Cool. And yes, that does not help our current overextension. By any means. But we can get started on coring that. And it's reasonably okay. Um, never. Never. I don't want to lose a stability right now. Losing a stability would not be good. So we're going to hold off on that. Okay. Next up, these guys need to come wipe out this army. That is the final army of particularists. So that will be great. These guys can head down to here. Did I just see those particularists start to move? Yes, I did. They're going into Karshi. Okay. One, two, three. Not too bad. Shawnee Separatists over here. And at this point, we can move this unit over here. These guys can come down over here. There we go. Some Zealots out over this way that we can eliminate no problem. And some over here as well. Cool. Not really an issue. So they're going to attack up over here, and we'll eliminate that without any problems. We'll head up over that way, and that's all fine. And we're looking at capping back some of this territory. There we go. I do think that we should send this unit up over here. That's fine. And we can send this army over to here. No problem. Don't even have to move our ships for that one. Cool. We will continue to core as much as we possibly can. And we will cap back what we can as well. There we go. The particularists are officially dealt with. So we'll spread this force out and work on getting some caps. There we go. Apparently we're going to mint more coins, which, you know, isn't necessarily the greatest. We have three rebellions this month. And that's these guys here. Cool. And these guys over here, no problem whatsoever. And a couple extra particularists here, but... Realistically, I think they're already dealt with. It shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, innovativeness. Sure. We'll take that. And yeah, these guys are... They're, they're just destroyed instantly. 
No issues whatsoever there. Okay. And we're going to continue to cap back some of these locations. All looks good. Pretty soon we're going to start seeing some cores happening. But we're not quite there yet. Gonna move this army up over here. Trade leagues have finished up. Okay. We actually don't need to be down here. Uh, we can just pass through, I suppose. And we win our battle up here. These guys can come on down. And once we're done capping this back, we'll go deal with these guys. No problem. Only one this time. They're a little ways away from our armies, but no problem. Cool. Draperies are getting a little bit more popular. Always nice to see. And these guys can go, like, here, I suppose. We're almost done capping all of this back. I think it's all ordered at this point. So that's fine. Beautiful. What else can we core? Whole lot of nothing at this point. We have to wait for cores to finish up. But that's okay. We are recapping these locations, and we're going to need to move our armies, of course. A Denny Separatist, no problem. Okay. And we'll have this momentarily. We do need to bring these guys down to here. And we do have a bunch of Separatist sentiment right now. That's just because our overextension is like mega high. To be fair, we haven't declared any offensive wars in a really long time. <laughs> We're just passively expanding. Well, defensively expanding. That's what's happening here. We're defensively ex expanding. It's, it's very awkward. Okay. So we're going to see some of these cores finishing up very soon. How soon? About next year. Cool. Roman Separatists, this is no problem. Okay. Let's check in over here. Yes, this is all recaptured. Beautiful. So at this point, we're going to hop into the supply limit map mode, and we're going to start positioning these guys somewhere where they can hopefully actually stand. That would be awfully nice. And I wish that this map mode was more helpful for me. It's probably helpful for some people, but it's it's tough for me to read it with my color blindness. Okay, uh, we're just going to be like up over here. This will be fine. Okay. Uh, yep, that'll do. We've got a bunch of these that need to be moved into various locations where they're not taking attrition. Like this one, that would be... What do we got over this way? Not a whole lot. But we could position it here. Cool. As far as this guy goes, we can definitely go for, like, here. And then up over this way. Beautiful. You're probably going to take attrition, basically, no matter where you stand out over this way. It's not going to be great. You're in 23 right now. We can move you to 26, I suppose. Here's a 27. We'll call that good enough, but you're going to be taking attrition, basically, no matter what. Okay, what else do we have over here? That's a 29. We see a 33. Done. Okay. We'll move you down over this way. We'll move you up over here. And let's see what else we've got. We've got this 30k stack. It can definitely move up this coast a little bit, or potentially... No. Okay, we'll move it up here. This guy can definitely be moved down to the coast. And then... Here is okay. What else do we got? This will do. Hmm. Here will do. Here will do. And this is some exciting content, I'm sure. But it is something that must be done. We're almost through it, so that's great. 28, 29. 
32. Got it. And next up, 41. 33. Let's see. 32 right up here. Done. Let's see. What else do we have over here? 31. Got it. And we'll take this to about here. And this final one. Beautiful. We'll position that here. Okay, I believe that is all of our armies where they need to be to not take attrition. And we can start bringing our manpower back up a little bit. That'll be awfully nice. At this point, it is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finally get some of these cores properly made. Oh, we can get these started. Or one of them, anyway. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, El Michi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambron, Martin Lawrence, and all of the rest. Almost messed up Lawrence, which is possibly one of the easiest names I've ever seen to say, but, uh, that's neither here nor there. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.